Hello everyone, this is Sears Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Sunset campaign. This is episode 5. We pick it up from turn 22 in the autumn season of 198. So hopping back into the game, uh, we are set up to uh, wrap up many of our Legacy of Wu missions uh, this episode as we race uh, with Yuan Shu to take Poyang's uh, Copper Mine, which we will do shortly. Uh, after uh, this turn, hopefully Renshu won't just come and take it. That would be super sad. Uh, on the other hand, we're looking uh, to finish off Wang Long as well over here before sending our second army to uh, fight the bandits. And uh, over here, uh, Do Yao only has two territories left. His main army is stuck over here, uh, not able to do much. He's not really taking the mountain pass down, so that's up to him, you know, being stuck here. That's his fault. Uh, we do have a court full of people who are starting to get angry at us and um, because of lack of purpose or various other reasons we have to figure a way out to keep them happy. Some of them we need to just give them a court position or a title. No one's dangerously low yet. Right, he maxed out his lack of purpose, so this is as low as it will be. We can easily fix this with an item. Alright, 24 is not great, but it's not terrible. 22, 24. We'll give him something as well. Mm. Not sure what we're going to do with Zhou Tai. Maybe a title, something that can help him in battle. That's definitely something that's we could consider. Morale when attacking. Flaming shot's not really relevant for him. Military supply is not really relevant. Reduce penalty. Enable scare when attacking. Does he have not he might not have scare right now? Right. If we enable this, then he really becomes a miniature Lu Bu with his uh once he has Undying Vow active. Well, think about it. This is really expensive. 400 character salary. So even with our reductions, it will be a good 200. Which is a lot per turn. So we're going to just hang on to these guys. Who are all in their 20s. And we'll figure things out. We'll get the buildings out of the way. And then proceed uh, with uh, the turn here. Uh, Tian Ye is just warning us about the satisfaction. We can't. We got one new assignment slot. From what? We didn't rank up. Oh. From the court rank up that we did? Yes. So even though it only increased the character salary discount by 2% from 10 to 12, the level 5 does give us an extra assignment, so that does help. Um, what are we going to do with this one, though? We are reducing construction costs in Xingdu, increasing commerce income in Jianye. We could also try to increase income. All right, we don't have any characters that can do that. Right, he doesn't offer us any great assignments that can fix this lack of purpose. And they're the only two characters we have in the court right now. Alright, you know what? I think we can spend some money and flip-flop some of these armies. We can do a replace. Swap. Yeah. He doesn't get along with Jiang Qing. Okay. So relationship does matter because if he doesn't like the guy in the army, there will be a satisfaction hit to that as well. We'll waste a thousand eight hundred if we pull him out. What if we hmm. right triple vanguard? John L should really come back and do assignments. Han Dong gets along, but he doesn't need that help. Lu Su will maybe just pull Lu Su back. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. We'll spend the gold up front. Make him lead. 
We don't need the retinue. Even though there's army outside, it's fine. And we'll pull Lu Su out of the army as well. And make him do assignments. Okay, so we can pull Han Dong out. Let's just pull everyone out. Get rid of their retinue situation. Alright, that's fine. And over here, I think she should go back. Because we can use her assignment really well. She has the peasantry boost. I'm just trying to see who can replace her. So John L could potentially replace her. Okay, we'll think about it. Uh, we'll wait. We'll, um, we're going to recall her. She's definitely going to do assignments in Xingdu because this is just pure peasantry right now. Uh, we do have 20% discount on all these green building upgrades, but we're going to go for the free upgrade for now. Over here, we're going to go government support. And we'll wait. We don't have any characters at court. Uh, everyone's being reshuffled back. Lady Wu's probably going to get a job. And Lu uh, Fan might take up a new post and then let Lu Su gain some levels. Alright, so that's the shuffle. Got all the units out with their retinues taken care of. Wang Qi Zheng Bao. Okay, we don't need those guys. And the only message, I believe, is the Jianye situation with the public order. All right, let's continue. All right, Liu Yao wants a peace deal. There's no way. Uh, we're eliminating them. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what faction this is because this is not the original leader. We can check to see her relationship. Grudge against Yuan Shu. Ah, Liu Chong's old faction. Are you Liu Chong's wife? Because Liu Chong usually marry a generic wife. Does she have Liu Chong's items? Oh dear. She has his horse and his gold item. So that's why we need to recruit her. Also, Luo Jun's here. So running to Luo Jun makes a lot of sense. And we definitely welcome all the items she brings us. So we're talking about a local administrator for public order. The set bonus is 20% income from peasantry on top of that if we have a stone rat, which we don't have. Uh, peasantry income. Okay. So this is great whenever we get administrator for Xingdu. In the meantime, we're just going to remove it. This will also remove until we run a uh, crossbow army. So this speed is not great. Uh, the Ebon Prince speed is 80. It's one of the slower legendary horses after the patch. I don't even know if they patched it. I mean, honestly, if they patched it, it should be higher speed than 80. Um, but it's a decent horse with good stats. I'm kind of tempted to give it to him. We'll lose a lot of speed. But authority will help because he's, you know, our leader. And the instinct would help because... That will push us to 160, actually. And that will actually complete one of our uh, Legacy of Wu missions. 10 melee evasion on top of that. Alright, it's hard to say no to this. Let's go here. I think they auto-equipped her with the horse that's out there. I don't know why the game does that. Um... Uh, but that's fine, because no one really needs this horse right now. We can actually just remove it. Alright. I don't know if she brought the kids or not with her. But we're going to let her stay. It's too cruel to just let her join us and then let her leave. She has decent set up for becoming an administrator even though I don't uh, plus five reserve she doesn't have anything that stands out for administrative traits oh no wait oh Chu Gong's wife and Chu Gong is in Ma Teng's faction now so she married Liu Chong's adopted son okay so in that case she's not his wife 
I think we can kick her out now. <laughs> Alright, what a sad twist of fate here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Your husband's still alive. Go find him. You just came to deliver all of Liu Chong's um, inheritance to Luo Jun. We'll explain it that way. There we go. Alright, time to attack them. They summoned another general, another worthless general. How are you so unhappy? It's not a good one that we can give you, that's the thing. Patrol commander, cheap, efficient. Alright. He's a key general. Might as well keep him happy. He will do the sieging. So this army can pull the other direction this turn as well. Uh, wait for the reinforcement range to come in. Alright, this is a pretty straightforward battle. I actually think we can delegate this to save some time. There's no point to... We can fight it pretty uh, for a cleaner effect. But I'm okay with medium casualties because they have a lot of time to heal to go the other direction. Alright. Chen Gong took a huge beating. Occupy. There we go. And we also ranked up, which is crucial. Because now we have more positions to hand out. Three more positions. Also the bonuses that are associated with them. Um... And because some of our positions, you know, increase administrators, we don't actually get administrator increase here. It's basically all the rank up bonuses are put on these positions and we have to uh, basically provide high level generals to take advantage of them. Uh, and we do have a bunch of high level generals. So in, let's see, what bonus do we get here? Construction cost and construction time discount. Food production, peasantry income. Spy positions. Okay, this is the least useful one. In my mind. Um, we have Tai Shi Tsi. Lu Meng. So Zhou Tai should get one. We can do some shuffling, actually. He will stay here. Director of Records gives administrators. We're gonna... Investigator of Transgressions. We're gonna put him here. To take care of the spying situation. Grant Architect. Taishutsu, perhaps, because he's a sentinel and it's like a building thing. But then we also have to think about these five positions get the council, invoke council missions. So we want one from each class. Ah, this is what we do. And then the grand tutor will be someone like Chen Gong. Man, Chen Gong teaching. Might not be the best type of teaching. Well, Zhang Zhao is too low level right now, so it's got to be him. And Grant Excellency. We'll do a flop as well. And then we'll put Zhou Tai right in here. As our Grand Commandant. Oh, but we're missing... We're missing a commander. But we don't have any commanders, right? We only have one commander. So there's no choice. We're going double down Vanguard. It might not be the best decision. I think the best one to double down is actually... It's actually a strategist because they boost commerce income and that's what we have a lot of. Can we flip-flop these? Uh, Alright, we'll just live, live with this for now. Vanguard bonuses are like replenishment bonuses. Not the worst, but not the best. We can get rid of this now. I don't know if it actually decreases salary. I think it's like set. Whether you get a salary here or there, it's the same. 
Oh, actually, it does decrease. So, all right, that's fine. It'll bounce back. The demotion will go away. Don't want to waste extra gold here. Uh, he has a level up. Let's pick up Flaming Shot. He'll make a great general. So, same thing here. No need to waste two titles on one person. Um, who else got a title? Someone else? Uh, Lu Fan. Lu Fan. He didn't have a title. But he was holding a bunch of items. Hand it over. Alright, he's happy now. Alright, alright, we got the satisfaction thing mostly fixed. He didn't get a title. He didn't get a job, but we can give him Orator next turn. So, that's fine. Alright, we got the delegate fight. Everyone's a little bit injured. Um. Hmm. This is the case. We can actually do this. So these are rank 3 and 4. We can recruit rank 3 now, I believe. Because the understanding also Joel Yu's post gives an extra rank. So there's no loss getting rid of these guys. There is a bit of a loss getting rid of these. this one. Level 6, level 5. 3 turns to heal. So I guess we'll keep the cavalry. We'll keep the archers. We'll just get rid of this. Alright, and then we'll have them come come back here. Take them three turns. Right, so there's three turns to heal, three turns to recruit the upkeep ratio. So I think it's good. We got rid of that. Oh, we didn't fix how this town was built last turn. Because we're busy constructing this. Demolish. Demolish. We need um, artisan. Artisans are easy to get. We can do a level four private workshop to get that. That's just a reform issue. Hmm. Let's demolish one at a time. At least this one's increasing population. I'll uh, get rid of that. Build something. Get rid of that. Build something. Uh, by something, I mean state workshop, private workshop in. All right. So that's fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. The lack of purpose is going to go down. I, I guess we summon him. And this army will probably run here, actually. Because that's where the other rebellion farming situation will be. Once we get this into the small city build. But first that. I believe this will finish them off. And then we have to backtrack over here. Alright, so that's fine. Over here we have a city build. So the mysterious state workshop has appeared. So we were right. It was the mysterious fourth slot that the AI was using. Uh, so we do get that for free. We are probably going to need Taishutsu to come here to speed. Eh, maybe we'll just boost income, right? Rather than save money and save turns. Now, the question is 50% or 30%? 50% of 220, so about 100 something, or 30% of 700, 200 something. So she's going to boost industry right here. We'll take a two turn build. All right, that's fine. Okay, he can still use a turn. He's going to come here and farm rebels. He's just going to hold down the fort against him. They're moving. I think we're good. We have spy positions available, mainly interested in turncoats. So Dashu as a turncoat. We don't need to actually turn him. If we become the first king uh, first group to become duke, he would just join us because he always joins whoever becomes Duke's first. So we'll just patiently wait for him to join us naturally. Uh, seems like the only person having issues is the Dome Separatist managing satisfaction. But we'll keep an eye on this just to see if we can snatch useful characters. And uh, that's about it. Let's uh, wrap up Liu Yao and uh, Wang Long's factions. Um, yep, that's everything. Let's continue.
Liu Bao wants a non-aggression. That's not happening because uh, Huang Zhu is on our hit list. All right, it's a spring. Uh, we did forget one thing. We forgot we could invoke Council because he still had a grain storage mission. But we'll do it in the spring now, every five turns, so that we'll remember to do it every time we have a new reform. Um, land development upgrade, that's super simple. We're going to get that done. Population growth all across the board. Champion satisfaction. Uh, build a school. We might not do this. 20% commerce, though. It's tempting. Maybe we just pop one in and then delete it. Embed a spy into Yuan Tan's faction? It's awfully picky here. We find on any assignment. He's currently on one. We can put him back on one for rent new upkeep. This is good this is a good bonus. Okay, so we get twenty so basically this is not a stackable one. It's not gonna be twenty percent rent new upkeep. It's gonna be ten turns if we do both. And moving a character into the town is very simple. We'll do that right away. And that'll get all our vanguards happier as well. There we go. He'll probably summon a second army. Or maybe not. He might not have money to summon a second army given his first army is stuck here. Um, they're about to get some action whenever we do take that land. They're going to suicide into our area here. Which means we have one turn to prepare. And by prepare, we mean picking generals with patience skills. So actually, that's very crucial. Alright. Outside of these two, do we have anyone else? With patience. Okay, Taishitsu has patience. So we want Taishitsu, Zhou, uh, Zhang Liao, and Yu Fan. Okay. So he needs to. Uh, oh, and that's that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to recall him. They'll set up camp here, because eventually we'll pop out a lot of tax collection here. Over here... Do they have night battle? That's the other question. Wisdom of the river. Wisdom of the river is the left hand side, so he probably has night battle. Alright, then we just have to shuffle these guys back in. We have to put Taishutsu here. Wow, facing his former master. Okay, and then we'll swap him for Zhang Nao next turn. And then we'll attack them next turn, forcing him to suicide into us. Perfect. He's trying to run. Small towns of free take. All right, we'll, we'll just take the free take. He'll have to suicide back into us, doesn't he? Oh, we got a, another general for free. Oh, we got a female commander. So we might keep her because there is a mission for female commander ranking up in our faction. And she can, you know, do assignment work for us in the meantime. Okay, that's not bad. So over here, go for a mix of income. And then he can actually end his job. And then we're going to put in another, we're going to use the female commander to uh, boost peasantry here. Right, perfect. Reform tree wise, we're still gunning for uh, Silk Road Expedition here for the Onyx Dragon access and also tier 5 harbors. Um, trade agreement, perhaps. What is with the Oh gosh, we need money. We need a few more because we have gold armor. What faction are you from? High Empire. 
I mean, clearly recruiting for this. And then he has a silver armor and a regular item. Also high empire. What is going on with the high empire? Okay. I mean, these people could be spies. That's that's one concern. But we need, we need a little bit of cash. Uh, just just a little bit of cash. What about three hundred flat? No. 290 oh no not 395 295 285 we'll take that right, that's enough I have no idea what's happening but we're taking her and we're also going to take him the Plus 12 authority. Unbreakable. Yeah. Just great item. Ooh. Mom looks good. And the silver armor on him. He's the only one that's in the army who doesn't have a unique armor. So he'll get to dress up. And then there's also a bronze item on him. What is it? Stone Archer plus four satisfaction. We'll give it to him. All right, not bad. And since he's angry at us, Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll give him this plus six satisfaction. Helps a little. What he needs is the orator. All right, he's good. All right, these two have no items, right? All right, they're gone before they are proven to be spies against us. Cool. We're really poor, but we got some nice things to play with. Alright, they stay here. And then the swap is next turn for Zhang Liao. They will just probably attack us. Now we can play defense. Oh, he has another territory. He won't suicide. Interesting. Well, at least he colonized it for us. All right, we're good to go. Yeah, let's continue after. Oh, I mean, we might as well build it, even though it's not the best item, the best building, but it's finds a slower build, but it's actually efficient because it actually lowers economic buildings uh, cost. So technically, if we build like a level five tax collection here and sustain it, we can all our purple upgrades will be 15 percent off. And there's so many purple buildings to be built here. So not the worst building to start here. Also, since we have zero income, it's not bad either. Alright, that's it. Let's continue. Coral okay. wants to buy an eavesdrop. Nope. Alrighty. Uh, new turn. Creative traits, very nice. Uh, lots of expertise on that. We're about to wipe out Liu Yao's faction. Or at least I think we are. Move them into reinforcement range first. I don't even think we need to recruit uh, any more mercenary axemen. I think we can just maybe delegate this for the win. Yep. So, that's it. Alright. Like my father before me. Achievement finished. And uh, that's our five uh, missions completed before 
the end of year 200. We managed to do it by the summer of 199, so 25 turns in, which is actually the exact number of turns it would take to kill us if we didn't do anything. Our reckless luck would have killed us at 25 turns, but we kept almost half of it at this point. And because we finished these five uh, missions up here, we actually have plus nine reckless luck per turn. So uh, it says 14 increase this turn because we also captured one of these. So we got five. Um, so we're losing only one point a turn if we don't do anything. So we're pretty set. Uh, the thing to make us not lose any more at all is to find a couple more duels, uh, which might be harder than it sounds. And aside from that, the, uh, the other one we could do is kill Huangzu. Or there's one more. Uh, Road to Emperorship, which is actually quite difficult. So we'll just try to keep uh, the dueling thing in mind going forward. It's a level 3 iron mine. So that's, that's pretty good. 300 industry income on top. Um, so we're looking at 600 industry income here. We have four, wait, because this one has two assignments given to us? All right, we got tons of assignments, so we don't even need to keep all these generals out in the field that much. So they're going to come attack. We want a high capture rate, which is why, even though they don't get along, they have to work together here. I wonder if they preset them to not like each other because Zhang Lao indirectly caused his death at the Battle of Hefei. That would be a nice touch. Um, doesn't really matter who leads this army, I think. No one really have a good leading bonus. But because we have three patients, that's 75% chance to capture enemy generals post-battle. And then if we add in our Men of Merit, that's another 30%, so 105%. So we should be able to capture him so that we can execute him for the bow, which is his only item. And then we can give it back to Taishu Tsu. Alright, that's the hope. Over here, they're just standing still, waiting for rebels to spawn. Is he getting lack of purpose? No, he's not. Alright. So, the new girl we recruited can come in and deal with peasantry. Uh, we need someone to deal with commerce income here. And the only one who's happy here is Lu Fun, so he will continue to work here. Over here, we can boost population growth. Ooh, at the cost of reserves. We actually have a huge food positive balance, so reserves actually good. So population is always great, especially for peasantry commandery. Well, actually, right now, any commander is great. It's not even just peasantry commandery now. Right, so they're losing out 12k population. So we send him here, he will neutralize it. Mainly because of local force population loss. Okay. Let's grow this one. This one feels like it's going to get a mill in much faster. So we'll give him something to do as well. And for our last bonus, we're going to send Liu Meng here to help build this up. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Uh, there's no more war on the Western Front. Uh, everything's to the south now. We're going to finish off Hua Xing's faction, and then we're going to together destroy Yan Bai Hu's uh, faction led by his younger brother now. So they're going to shift their focus back here. Um, and speaking of shifting our focus, we need to wipe them out. Uh, I don't want to bother fighting the encampment fight, so we're just going to delegate this one. I do see a couple hundred percent capture rate there. These two. Zhang Ya, hmm. Loyal, resourceful, understanding. Wang Shu. Doesn't want to work for us because he's the heir. He's Wang Lang's son. Interesting. I think he's the father of the future. Um, I think Cao, wait, not Cao Pi's wife, but Cao Rei's wife, perhaps. Oh, I don't remember. I know, I know Wang Lang's granddaughter. Oh, 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 Sima Yan's wife. 
right? Her, her his daughter will marry Sima Yan's wife and become the first empress of the Jin Dynasty. The, but that's a long time coming, right? That's like two eighty something. Um, I mean, we'll spare him for that purpose, I guess. I don't really need a water clock. We'll just get some money. And I don't think we need another sentinel here, especially a 58-year-old. We'll just use this to capture for some 1,000 extra gold. Uh, we'll take income. Alright, he has nowhere to run, but he basically used up our movement running into the tree here. Zhang Zhao leveled up. Very welcome level up here. And the traits he has are all battle set traits, so that's good. Plus 15 satisfaction faction wide. Wow, that's great. Alright, let's do this. And as you can see, it's going to take us a while to get over there. So it feels like this faction might have to be left for them to take care of. Uh, Yan Yu over here. They're about to suicide into our group. Can't wait for that to capture them. Uh, first off, what do we do here? Can we build level 3 without a small city? No. Okay, so there's no point to waste time. We're going to go for a small city right away. Because at tier 3, you get the faction-wide commerce bonus, which is what makes it so great for Sun Ce and Sun Jian's factions. Hmm. This feels more worth at this point. All right, we're not going to rush this. We'll start slow, and then we'll we'll upgrade it to a small city later. Cause it's going to take two upgrades. It's too long. We might as well get that maximized first. Um, everything's reform lock, I believe. Oh, except for that. Oh, we're cash locked here. So if that's the case, then honestly, one of these can wait, or we can beg for cash. That's way up there. Zhang Xiu? Zhang Xiu is under his faction right here? Interest. Oh, right. Zhang Ji is the uncle of Zhang Xiu, and Zhang Xiu eventually have Wan Chong. But that's another story for another faction. Um, eavesdropper cell? The question is, he's probably not rich. If we were, if we were interested in straight up selling auxiliaries, the Han Empire would be the best option here. He's still at zero gold. He can't. He doesn't pay. How is he still at zero gold? How does this game allow him to stay at zero gold? This is also interesting. So he's. Gong Sun Zan's son, but he married into Tian Kai's faction over here, and now he's leading it. Gong Sun Zi Mao? Zi Miao? Let's start big and ask go down. We'll take that. Alright, we're still short. Um. Liu Biao, no way. Cao Cao? I mean, it's historical that we kind of, you know, accepted him as the Prime Minister of the Han Dynasty. Alright, there's no one else I want to sell stuff to. Hmm. Yeah, we can support his, uh, Independence. Mess with Shizia's faction a little bit. Especially for the right price. Alright, I just want a decent growth rate because we can probably get a bunch of gold from him for doing this. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't pay well per turn. Well, he doesn't pay well per turn at all. Maybe 800. Let's pick a good number here. 888. Alright, now we have enough money to build stuff and we don't have to wait. So we definitely want to upgrade this 
for the artisan. That way we can get level three weaponsmith. So without delay, let's get that built. All right, we're good. Let's continue. Yeah, he wants a peace deal. Well, no, you're about to die here. Reject. Oh, and he launched a surprise army attack against our lumber yard in Xingdu. We underestimated him. He doesn't have a lot. This is not a lot of men. The siege weapon is super annoying. I'm going to fight this and see if the the old strategy we had at Badung's lumberyard will work here. Not sure, but we can give it a shot. This wouldn't be a bad win. Let's try it. Most likely a loss, though. Alrighty. Um, so we're probably going to lose this one. First, are they... They're not all attacking from that gate. That's a lie. Where's the rest of their force? Huh. So that's their deployment zone. So if we want any shot, we need to just run. The shape of the lumber yards will give us the advantage. The gamble is they don't have an army here, or else it's just instantly over. Alright, so the cavalry is here. We're going to put the stakes. Oh, it's so hard to put these down. Alright, like that. The fire doesn't really do anything. Like, we're not going to be back in here to light up a fire. But just in case, let's put that here. We're dashing for that patch of forest right there. Do not fire. We're just hoping not to run into anyone. Okay, so the other group's there. Good. Alright, so if we want to win this, by win, I mean not lose. It's got to be a draw. It's a timeout running out of the clock situation here. It's basically hide our units, but not all our units. We need to... Send two. So they're all over there. So two on this side, two on this side, and we should be fine. This is basically how we survived. This is total war with Sun Jian by defending a lumber yard till the end. Alright, so you see a lot of the units are dying to the towers as they try to enter because they, they don't have a very healthy unit, uh, but they do have very healthy generals, which is a big problem. They don't have good abilities on the generals, though. That's for sure. A lot of good items. What the heck? Bow. That's a merchant, I believe. Scholar? Okay. That's a cryptographer. Clay cup. Bronze horse. Another bow. A builder. Alright, we're just basically going to play the vision game with them. Alright, so what, what what we set up here is basically the AI clearly, like, if it's playing fair, they don't know where we are, right? But the AI clearly knows because all our units are invisible. So they're not playing fair. But what we do is, let's say this group start charging at what's hiding over here. You ask one of the guys on the opposite end, you select him, and you select one of the gates, and you command him to go there. And then the AI would cheat. They would cheat and they would know that you have selected going to capture a point. And then they will run towards that unit. Uh, so in essence, because the AI cheat with vision and with how they can read user commands, we can force them to go back and forth between our two areas. Right? Whichever one's in danger, we send the other side into the commandery to pull them the other way. So they never can actually fight us for the 40 minutes and we went that way so that's the plan I don't know if it's gonna work and I'm not gonna show you guys cuz big waste of time so see you guys at the end and hope all goes well cuz you can see the AI is cheating right now going towards our invisible unit that they should not be able to see so see you guys at the end alright guys just cutting back real quick in the end we actually killed them 
Uh, we basically actually stretched out to three different corners at the end and we looped them around, recapturing towers, and then we fought them at the end and we actually crushed them. So that was pretty nice. Lumberyard's OP, heroic victory. Alrighty. So we held. Yan Yu, Yan, Yan, Yan Yu's in more trouble than he knows. Alright, Yuan Shao signed a peace deal with Gong Sun Zan. Okay, those two foals are peacing out. And right away he attacks our uncle. Why? Alright, Lu Fan is on assignment and we get uh, five more turns of the support from soldiery. Sima Hui Ning. Oh, and yeah. who are these people? All right, we have a lot of share expertise that we need to use. Almost forgot about that. Okay, so who needs a level up here? Who wants to be level five and boost our bonuses here? Trade route, trade influence, income from peasantry. Oh, construction cost, construction time. This one's good. Administrator. Oh, administrator is also great. Um, both of these are great. I think Zhang Liao might... Mm, he doesn't have enough experience point to rank up. I don't think so. Oh, he's even farther away. Let's give it to him. If that's the case. I don't think he levels up. Oh, he does. Oh, how many? He got what? 16k experience from that shared expertise? That's very impressive. Okay. Um, I think we'll go with this just so we can get this faster. They sieged us, which is not the best outcome for us, but we're going to just delegate away. 23% chance to capture him. I don't think this applies any of the patient's abilities, um, which should add another... 75 and then there's a 30 I, I think we should be able to capture him for sure with this patient stacking that we did so let's see if that works out because there's no way he can withstand all right let's just go for it come on give us that bow back <laughs> yes all right, execute for the bull. All right, Liu Al's faction is destroyed. We got it back for you, my friend. We got it back. You deserve a good weapon, though. Wait, he was maimed? Oh, in the, in the fight against us, I bet. Right, because we fought him once. Uh, my bad. Give him a weapon. He's not going to be an administrator, so it's okay if we lose some uh, expertise here. He's a great uh, general with a bow because of this quick fire ability. Not engage in melee, not moving. So basically just stand still for a while. And you get really big range boost. And this is because he famously shot an arrow, you know, during a siege. He was the one sieging, and he shot the arrow above the city gate, and it hit a person on top of the gate from technically outside of arrow range. Anyhow. Ooh, you leveled up. Han Dunk. Probably just gets you the ability here. Alrighty. So this annoying army here got beat by our lumber yard. We can go capture them. There's no one we really want, but we can execute them for their awesome weapons. Or if they want to join us, we can recruit them and then get rid of them for their awesome weapons. All right, we can reach it next turn, so we don't need to speed up anything here. Um, we need to go attack them. They do need replenishment, so we can't really march either. 
and then they will just scout ahead. I don't expect a force here. Even though that's their only territory, I don't think he has armies. Oh, I lied. He has a copper mine here, too. Okay. Just deeper south beyond our vision. Um, we do have access to uh, Artisan, so we can actually upgrade this now to Tier 3, which we will do right away. It's crucial that we get this going. Uh, I want gold weapons. Alright, everything's being built. They finished their job, so we're actually going to recall them. Oh, right. Were we going to... Mm. It slipped my mind. We were going to use that army to capture them. Mm. I mean, we can still do it next turn. We just have to do a summoning. Oops. Iron General. Okay. That's for the defensive fight here in the city. They're just awaiting... See, they're not even good against rebels. They're basically in the field because if they're not in the field, they'll be angry. Um, which is sad. But that's that's the truth. We have way too many vanguards. Hmm. We'll figure something out for them to do. Right now, they're just standing there. Look cool. Um... Quick check of turncoats, and then we're probably moving on to next turn. Ooh, -hoo, lots of turncoats. Liu Bao's faction. Eventually, I want some eyes in his faction, but not now. So, let's just end turn for now. He still want our support. I mean, we didn't technically turn on him, but we do have a challenge that requires us to fight two of his armies. So we're not going to do anything with him. We don't need his money. He can keep his own money. Does he still have our seal? He usually equipped it right away. So I don't think we'll be seeing that thing anytime soon. We can try to pry it from his dead body. He's doing quite well. Look at his territory. So he's not going to die anytime soon. So that seal, he can keep it warm for us. All right. And as we're winding down in Buanai and I here, we also have to keep our fingers crossed for the two tail event uh, similar to how Jotai event is not 100% guaranteed to trigger the two tail sister events not 100% guaranteed to trigger and we would love to have them trigger um, loyalty looks better too expertise versus I don't know resolve is a really good stat but this one gives extra uh, decrease ambition to gain independence as administrator. Values family, values friendship. This is Sun Tzu's relationship. Doesn't matter. We'll go with loyalty here. We have enough points to level someone else's up. Uh, someone else up. Uh, shared expertise is pouring in because we have tons of generals so that's high level um, Because we leveled him up we have minus one construction time construction cost still 10% basically gain the minus one construction time Which is pretty good. I Want to level him up or this position up doesn't even have to be him Because I want to know what we can get so if we can get 16k like he got we can level up so fingers crossed Let's see if he had enough. Chen Pu leveled up. Wait. Han Dang didn't level up. He's 3,000 short. Okay. We get 17 a turn. So every three turns we can do it. Chen Pu leveled up though. I mean, we want Exemplar. This just, that's just so good. We can't really avoid it here. He is the administrator in Jian Ye. We could actually speed up the public order. What have I been doing? Even though ideally we want this on a peasantry commandery, but right now he can use it because we don't have anything else to use. But oh, actually, before we say we don't have anything else to use, we might have something else to use. 
Where did that army go? That bandit army? We we need we need that bandit army back. We have one patience here. He doesn't have patience. He can't have patience. So Eventually we want to capture those bandits, that's what I'm saying. We had a chance last turn, I messed up. We can't reach, so we're just going to come here to heal. We can't actually attack the livestock farm this turn. Oh, we can reinforce though. What am I thinking? Alright, we can do this. That's why they're walking together. There we go. Finally, he has reach. Right, he also has a copper mine. We're going to go fetch the copper mine before we go over here, because that's also his last territory. Man, the terrains in the south is hard to move, but at least we have our movement bonuses. Um... So that should help. I want to go look for those army, the group that was just out here. They're probably going to attack the lumberyard again, to be fair. With like a full force. And then we could be in trouble. Alright, who's angry with us? Lumo, you're angry. You're what, 19? Hmm... Right, so a few things first. We don't have anything better, so he gets to use that for now. We have a bunch of resolved horses. Here, take a post. He's still angry. Mainly because of lack of purpose. Can you guys take him in? Zhang Qin hates him. I'm gonna summon him here. Just to get rid of his lack of purpose. Just 18 points is just too much. All right, let's end Wanlong's faction once and for all. He contributed to our cause by, you know, colonizing all these land that we would have spent a lot of gold on. Well, Jun reached rank. Oh, level five. So he was in. He's in the court. So that that gives us extra bonuses. Um, hmm, we want reach. Probably go down here. Give up on hamstring because we got Binding Fury already. What what bonuses does he give? So 7% food instead of 5% food. Uh, not too impressed. Really wish he would level up, but we probably need a few more turns for that. Okay. All right, we're good to go. This army will just go this way into Jian'an. Oh, another level up. Wonderful. Pacifier of the Han. Interesting. I wonder when we'll get the bandit one. All right, free building first. Four more turns. Okay, we're good. Let's continue. Two. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. She has Lu Ji, and she's offering Lu Ji as a. Marriage to us? Why does she has Lu Ji? The only way she can get Lu Ji is if Lu Bu. 
she must have taken in Lady Yan or something. I mean, we're not taking this marriage because we're waiting for Da Qiao. But I'm just shocked that she has Lu Ji. Interesting. How did this happen? Bu, how many characters did you lose? I mean, we took two of his characters, I know, but he lost his uh, kid. I mean, he couldn't have married it. He couldn't have married her to Zheng Jiang's faction, or else, like, she wouldn't be be available for marriage again. All right. Anyways, we're we're rejecting this one. All right. Yeah. So she's like secretly paying us to um, take on a bad marriage to make sure that we can't marry the girls of our dreams. Energetic on Sun Ren. Good for her. A white horse. That's exactly what we're. Uh, that's exactly what we have. I mean, she doesn't need it. We'll stash it. Oh, that's Li Jue's wife right there. Not historical, just because I remember seeing it in court. Wait, divorced? She divorced him. I remember seeing it right here. See, I can prove it. She was with Li Jue for a year. I guess not anymore. All right, never mind. Not recruiting her. I was gonna reunite a family, but clearly there's no need for that. Um, this army's shown up again without replenishing. They're in the lumber yard, which, hmm, which is actually interesting because I don't know if we can take like say six generals we can put like two generals in each of them and i don't know if my six generals can beat this in a lumber yard because if we can we can capture them because the three generals i'll give them are generals that have really good abilities like we're talking about zhang nao taishi ci yu fan all right zhang nao taishi ci is getting along so we're going to put john out in this army and then we're gonna put Tai Shi Ci and we find this army. They will siege. This is ridiculous. Hold on. And then the other force will reinforce by marching over here. And then Tai Shi Ci have Hail of Arrows, so. I will save this to end our episode. This should be an interesting fight. Um, elsewhere, they finished up their job here. As long as they can reach next turn, we don't need to march. Okay, we're good. Salt mines getting built. Can we reach? I don't think so. Ooh. It's nice to have an army that's just generals who can walk farther because they have no retinue and then have this army who can't reach as far come in as reinforcement on march and then we can delegate these fights quickly. Basically an alternative way to cheat out range because we're really moving at marching speed for this army's sake but only because this army is doing all the attacking for us. Right, and then we can easily capture stuff that would have taken us two turns. Oh, call to arm. Who did we get? Yi Yan Shu. Okay, another random generated general who we might also keep because there's a mission for female strategists. And I think Xiao Chao is a female strategist, but outside of her, we don't have a second female strategist. And... If you look at our mission for the Lady Sun's guards. Oh, Sentinels. I see. So she's gone. Because we have way too many strategists. We don't need another one. Good thing I checked. So we want female Sentinels. Oh, those we don't have either. Hmm. Wait, she's a thief? She's a bandit. 
that could be a spy for Liu Biao. Mm, it's so tempting though. All right, she's not a bandit. Uh, I think we have better choices down the line. We don't really need to go for her. Yeah, let's skip out on her. Uh, army's pretty beat up, especially the generals. Uh, we also can't heal because we did have to go on march, so that is a weakness. But we can heal one turn here before taking that. I guess it's time to fight our sixth general battle here. Alright, the AI clearly think we won't lose. I mean, that's fair. They have a full retinue set here. We only have six men. They also have towers in this fight and a, and a siege weapon. But their generals all very beat. Now, the whole purpose of this fight is because we have three generals with patience. That's 30% from male merit. So we're trying to capture all three and take their items. So we are going to not kill the two strategists. Remember, don't kill them. They have no resiliency. We kill them, we're not getting their items. Uh, so let's go. Alrighty, uh, loaded up in here. Um, I don't know if the enemy is going to charge out or not. I'm assuming they won't, but just in case, we will put some toys on the field. Uh, we're going to wait for our reinforcement to come. Uh, the enemy will shoot at us with their range units because we just have generals. And we're going to take these three and hide them here. They're just a little less useful for us right here. These three, we have abilities that are very useful. They're coming out. Okay. Save us from uh, taking arrow damage. That's for sure. Who has the really fast running of one? Health bill 50, final rush. We might have these two charge in to grab their morale point in the middle. Wait, I can't select these two. The map is weird. Alright. Run out. He, he can just hide. I don't want him to die. He doesn't have resiliency or anything. We can actually ask him to retreat from the battlefield, but maybe that's too excessive. Alright, let's get a good health arrow down first. Alright, so these guys will just run in like that. He has a bow. It's okay. Taisha can tank it. Taisha also has a great bow. But we're not killing the strategist, remember. So even our health arrow placement has to be very careful here. Come on. Alright, run back into the forest. How are these boys doing? Good. Go like this. That will reduce their morale by 10 points. Should help us with them routing. And of course, who else better to start a fire than Huang Gai? Zhang Hao has a nice roar ability, which is going to be very helpful too. Alright, we're pulling them back in. Do we want to do that? I guess we can do that. This has got to be a very creative fight. Wait, who's hitting us? Oh, civilians inside. Alright, we... Don't wander off. They're killing. They're trying to kill the civilians. Alright, good. The siege weapons are firing at us. It's hilarious. Actually, we don't want them to step that way. So we want to go this way. Chase us this way, please. Uh, they're recapturing it. That's fine. Like their level 1 trebuchet can actually hit us. Alright, hold on. We gotta go slow. So I don't mi mi mess up the micro. Six bandits. We'll kill these real quick. Mm -hmm. 
See, I'm pretty sure they're killing more of their guys than ours with those arrow attack, so feel free. See, this is where we should have arrow from. Come. Look at that hallway. We might accidentally kill a few generals, but that might be the cost of doing business here. Alright, he stay by himself. Everyone else come here. Right, imagine that health arrow going down like this. Tajit said, my friend, you're missing out. Mm, can we go capture that? Join three. He can die, he has resiliency. You love in Kahil? Okay. Alright, we just wanted to capture that one, then they can all come back here. Get closer a little bit, kind of gambling here. Please don't, please don't die, ma'am, 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 ma'am. She lives. Okay. The archers can fire. They don't do enough damage. Alright, roar number one. Oh, she blocks abilities. It's not good. We just have to fight away from her. Can the bandit... Can these guys route? I don't want to get knocked off our horse. Alright, we charge at these then. I actually have a splash attack. Uh, we can't use the splash attack. Let's charge to somewhere where we can use the splash attack. Can we roar now? Splash attack. Roar. Oh, where did we... Bad, bad location on that, but that's fine. You can die if you really want to die. Come on, we got him. The only one we gotta be careful of is uh, Jiang Qin. He doesn't have resiliency, so... Well, I don't think he has resiliency. I'm not sure if he has it. Alright, he's gonna route. We're gonna rather have him route. If they, if they want to route, it's better. It's better to route than to kill them. Charge. We'll probably have a second roar coming. No? Oh, uh, he also locks abilities. Great. There's no way these are braced from the back. If we lose our horse, the game is not right. Alright, get away from our ability usage. What happened to you? Oh no, our, our most vulnerable guys on foot. Save him. Chon out. All right, we're losing a lot of our horses. That's fine. If he routes, let him route. Let him leave. Um, that was a rash decision to run in here to save him. But we can use our abilities here real quick. Alright, we got rid of the general. Alright. Please don't kill the strategists. Please don't kill the strategists. Alright, we're good. We can do this. We have a few generals routing. But overall, I think we're fine. If you're on foot already, stay on foot. Alright, so I think Zhang Liao and Jiang Qing are the ones that's on foot. So we're gonna call them four. Li Jue has really bad uh, morale, similar to most uh, vanguard units. 
Roar. Oh, Huang Gai's on foot too. It's okay, we can win on foot, don't worry. Alright, you with the horse. Go kill the go kill the archer. I know your morale sucks, but Archer. Pull back for a hell of arrow again. Kill the spear. Actually just wait. Just wait. Wait for the hell of arrow. Oh, he's killing those. There we go. Just gotta wipe out. Uh, I'm really worried about this Rajas. We did all this work just for the items. Mm, hold on. Find a better angle. Find a better angle. They're moving. Set up an angle. And stay with it. Alright. Just fingers crossed. See, they're moving right back into the range. Ugh. I mean, what can you do? AI. Does he have scare? We won. They all routed. It wasn't pretty, but uh, hopefully we capture at least two of the generals. Alrighty. Let's see the results here. Well, somehow he died. We only caught him. So, so much for our effort to preserve the other two strategists. We did get a bow. Mm, that's fine. And we'll occupy. Alright, that took longer than I thought, but that's a good save point for us here. Uh, we're at winter season of 199, about to hit that crucial year of 200. And we're wrapping up in the south. Our second army and our first army, as well as our general corp, are closing in on Yan Yu's territory. Clearly next turn we'll be able to wipe him off from the map. And that should actually end all the wars we have on the map. Oh, Hua Xin, I spoke too soon. They have another territory. I thought they had I thought they had one, then it turned out they had two. Turned out they have three. Uh, but they're not relevant, so I guess we're we're technically done with the Jiangdong region, uh, minus this clear uh, area here that's owned by Yuan Shu, who we might be considering turning on next. Uh, or we can, you know, finish off our proper expansion route which includes Yuzhang. That means going to war with the Han Empire which might be a little rough uh, considering that Cao Cao is the owner of that vassal. Uh, but I don't mind going to war with him, it's just a matter of time. We'll cut through a path to Yuzhang to reclaim Changsha, which will put us into conflict with Huangzu. And then we'll use that as a launching point to launch attack here. Uh, that's going to be a second army thing. Uh, not second army thing, but I guess Sun Tzu has to do that personally because Sun Tzu has to kill Huangzu for achievement. And uh, the second army would lead attack into uh, Lujiang, which was basically what Sun Tzu did right after uniting the south here. Um, basically, we'll be making our push north, even though there's still a lot of unclaimed land in the south. We'll let someone else claim it, and then we'll take it from them uh, afterward. I'm pretty happy with the piece of the land that we acquired here. So thank you guys for watching, and see you all next time. Bye!